Coming to you live from Music City, USA, it's the Nashville Casting Couch. I'm Chris Burks, along with your locally famous host, TJ Cates, who is in the invitation-only studio high atop the city overlooking everything that is Nashville Entertainment. Now lay back and enjoy the ride that we call the Nashville Casting Couch. Before we started, I mean, you got to just get a little closer. Okay. This is kind of be, yeah, I mean, it's Do you still awesome. head? Just get up on head. Do you want to sit like that? It makes me a little more comfortable. Not that there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> that looks weird. It does look weird. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just sit with me. There we are. I'm with you. All right. Here we are. Everything's hey. Fine. I'm comfortable. All right. Yeah. Hey. That's right. We are. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is TJ Cates with Nashville Entertainment Weekly's show, The Nashville Casting Couch. We're with Jill Cinnamon as my co host today. Hey, everybody. Hey. Matt Thompson on the end. David Craig, recording artist, singer songwriter. From Greenville, South Carolina. Woo! The, the funny thing about the casting couch is he's actually sleeping on the casting couch tonight. <laughs> he had to have a place to sleep tonight. He called me a couple times. We talked during the week. And he called me at 11 o'clock tonight. He's hanging out at Waffle House out by the Hopkinsland <laughs> Hotel. And um, he needed a place to sleep. I said, well... The only place they got is the couch, and it gets used a lot. So, hey, man, the, the struggles of a musician. It's tough, That's right? right? What do you do? Well, the nice thing that you did today was you were at Fort Campbell singing okay. for the troops. Tell us about your day. Man, it was great. Uh, they did a, uh, what they call reading to the kids. Um, so cool. Yeah, it was awesome. I got to sing for uh, about an hour, I guess, and then uh, Mr. Darrell Worley came in. Daryl Worley, he's a good guy. guy. He's yeah, really in the military. Guy. He's a, he's a great, good performer. Yeah, great guy. Um, he came in and read the book. The book was called uh, Courage. Yeah. So uh, he read the book to the kids and then uh, talked about courage a little bit and then uh, autographed all the kids' books and sat there. Really? Man, he pretty, yeah, he was probably Sweet. there for like two hours. He's just, such a good guy. Hey, yeah, thanks, Daryl. Yeah. 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 Um, what's Darryl. the song he's so famous for? Uh, have you forgotten? Have you forgotten? Let's let's yeah. go cut away to that. So everybody knows who we're talking about. Yeah. Daryl Worley. What was the name of the song again? Have you forgotten? I just slipped my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, we're back with Matt on the couch, <laughs> and uh, we had a little talk. We're watching a little bit of a video. So uh, Matt Thompson, which is our Ed McMahon, has a little Ed McMahon invitation. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> that's that's El Pacino. That's, that's a little Pacino, which McMahon. we thought we were going to meet yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Jill, what do you have to add to this? What about this casting couch? You've never been on this side. Usually, she's been on that side. Yes, I, I'm usually behind the camera. But uh, in the beginning of the casting couch, uh, Meredith and I, we were interviewed by. <laughs> they used to be this close on this side. It's cool. Um, it's, it's a lot of power behind the table. It it's kind of legit, right? Yeah. It's Our studio awesome. audience out there. It's it's actually one thirty in the morning. They're asleep. We're going to wake them up and make them believe in a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're going to late start. Well, we just got back from the National Film Festival. We, we did. We there. got back from the red carpet. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And Matt was there even later than us. Matt was last there. minute yep. interview. So thank you, Matt Thompson. Thank you. Yeah. Good event. We Our actually DP bought a red carpet today. Producer. Do you know Very that, cool. David? Do what? We have our own backdrop now. Oh, really? It says yes. Nashville Entertainment Weekly, Nashville Casting Couch. We have where people get their picture made. And today we're at the GW on uh, Charlotte Pike. And we bought our own our own uh, red carpet. So now yeah. we go to events. So people can get their picture made in front of the red on the red carpet in front of our own backdrop. Man, that's awesome. It's getting better. Yeah. yeah thanks to uh, Let's, John Kim, Signs First, and Nashville Known. For exactly. Our thank you, Signs <laughs> First, John. Kim, thank you, Nashville John. Known. Hey, uh, Nashville Known. Hey, um, you know it's been a big year, and you and I met, I guess, for Heart Signs for Veterans. Uh, we, we met at CMT. No, we met at. Uh, <laughs> It don't was make it March. Weird. Don't make it weird. No. It <laughs> don't tell me you know the date. It was March. That's going to make it the weird. The 12th, 2014, <laughs> really at the stage me. on Broadway Street. Oh, you're going for the Songster for the Bus. Songster Bus, National yeah. Connection Hero Salute. Wow. Yes, sir. And I got to uh, interview everybody, and you were the yes, least sir. country person on the bus. The least. Which is really amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you know the biggest thing and I remember about that day? They give you like a super day. small shirt to wear that day, and you're pretty happy about it. Yeah, you remember the biggest thing I remember about that day? And it, had, it, it has followed us through every interview that we've done. What might this be? It is. It doesn't matter what we're doing, what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some kind of joke told in between. A where joke? We can, yeah, where we got to... We Where, where we, we crazy record hard. an interview... 
and then have to go back and do it again because not... both of us get the shit eating grins yeah, on we our face. Because we, are... <laughs> <laughs> we, we were thinking about what was said in the one before. I'd like to see that grid right there. <laughs> okay, so describe this. This was a bus, and you guys were interviewed, and yeah, were you with playing the, um, music on the bus? With the Nashville Connection. I have no idea what it's about. The Songster Bus. The I, song, the, that's the first never, thoughts I had. Yeah. The first thoughts I had about the Songster Bus is, what is this? Well, uh -huh. the Nashville Connection offers a spot on the Songster Bus, and what it okay. is is there's a group of people that are songwriters or aspiring songwriters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And you know what I'm doing now. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. There's that grin. Mm -hmm. um, but Miss Miss Joan Beatros that is the CEO of Nashville Connection. She's so sweet. Oh, Let's yes. give her a shout out. Miss Joan, you Ms. rock. Joan, yes, are you, you doing? Rock. We know you're listening. Um, she, she gets a top songwriter from Nashville mm -hmm. or Atlanta. There's a bus that comes out of Atlanta. Okay. And they're the mentor on the bus. So oh, wow. they teach. They teach you how to write songs and teach you how to, you know, put it together and everything. And so you get on this bus, tour bus. It's a nice it's, bus, too, oh, dude. I got up on there. I didn't walk, nice. but I climbed up there. Yeah, it was nice. And off. for seven nice. hours, at 65 mile an hour, you're writing a song oh, cool. with one of the top songwriters around. That's so nice. Um, Actually, a shout out to Bernie Nelson because he rocks too. Bernie Nelson's a nice guy. Yes, sir. He was my he's, mentor, uh, he's my very coach talented. on the songster. Bus. He's got good hair too. Aww. Yeah, he's got good hair. He uh -huh. covers it up with a hat, but like I do. But yeah, um, let's talk about your hat. Let's stop where we are. Stop. Stop. Everybody, just calm down for a minute. <laughs> Everybody, just calm down. Everybody, just calm down. Let's talk about this new look. You're gonna stand up and show us your new fashion because you were bragging on these jeans a minute ago. Hey man, these jeans rock. You need uh, a pair. What's we gotta, going on? We gotta do it. We gotta. Yes. We gotta do a little turnaround. Yes, these jeans are awful. <laughs> yes. That was right and to it, the camera. You're and he's gone down. <laughs> there you go. He's gone down to a thirty and a thirty around the waist. Oh, that's he right. Gave he gave up bread. He gave up a bunch of stuff. He's chicken yes. and fish. And he's always that's had this cowboy hat. No, yeah. I have a question. Angel wings on your hat. What are we doing about this? Pocket knife and a guardian angel. That's um, right. This song that did yeah. come about, and he's always had there, this pin yeah. on his hat. Are we not gonna? I am. Uh, you didn't think I was gonna remember, but I remember. I'm gonna have to pin it to this one. I think you're gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Um, yeah, this is. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, this year has been huge, and a lot of it is because of the Nashville connection. But I've had a lot and of Nashville people. Nashville Entertainment Weekly. Yeah, and Nashville Entertainment Weekly. Oh, Week, thanks, Week, man. Case. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but. I've had a lot of people that have just stepped into my corner and became like Team Dave. Yeah. And uh, actually just this week it had come to their attention that the general consensus was that I needed a new look. Yeah. Huh. So instead of cowboy cut wranglers and a pearl snap shirt and a cowboy hat, I am now in what you see today. Which okay, Cabela's. Is, Do you like Cabela's over Bass Pro Shops? I don't like Bass Pro Shops as much because you gotta buy like the redhead brand. Well, Cabela's likes their stuff a lot more than Bass Pro Shops, which means it's more expensive, folks. Yes, um, Cabela's is proud of their stuff. So, yeah. and I can go in a Bass Pro Shop and walk down the center aisle. Yeah, because all the sale bins are in the center aisle. Yeah, I don't even have to branch off, man. I make one circle around each floor. Where's the best? Pro? And I'm done. Where's the best Bass Pro you've been to? Uh, Sevierville, Tennessee. Really? Why not? Yeah. Because I'm the only one I've been to. Uh, they <laughs> well, in Memphis, they had the Pyramid, pyramid. which is a concert hall. It's so cool. Van by the water. Actually, <laughs> Sevierville is the closest one to my house. Okay. Other than Atlanta, but I don't like Atlanta because I don't like to drive, and that's just... I'm going to start pointing and waving again. That's all, yeah, well... <laughs> There's an Ikea in Atlanta that I want to check out. I've been there before. Really? We actually have our, in our office go. our big New York picture. It came from Ikea. Something else came from Ikea in here. Ikea is a cool store. They're opening one of them. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Correct. Right. I saw one of those today somewhere. Yeah, it's a cool store. I've been so many places today. It ain't fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, let's talk about the song you're going to play for us today. Uh, which one am I playing? Um, the one you just played in our acoustically friendly office. <laughs> you played two. Office. I played two. Um... I played one that I just wrote the one called Bless. Which yeah. one do you think will get us more views? Um, I think Blessed would be a good one. Okay. Uh, this was a this was a song, to be honest with you, I played the melody on this song for like six months. Did you? Never could come up with any lyrics. Hmm. You should have called us. Yeah, I should have, but I didn't play quite it. 
It's okay. We my got fault. lyrics, man. We got my lyrics. We're, 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 but anyway, we're I went on. and picked my kids up from school, man. Came home and picked up a guitar and in 10 minutes wrote the lyrics. Nice. It was amazing how it just fell together, and you know, Daddy got to get Kool Aid. I got Friday. I get paid. Sweet. Saturday night, taking my wife out on a date, and I get. How old are your kids? Oh, uh, I got one that'll be three. That's nice. May the second, so I got oh. three, six, and nine. Oh my he's gosh, a, he's a family busy, man. Busy, busy. And you're also a fireman. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. How long have you been doing the firefighter thing? I've been a fireman for uh, nine years. And, and you still months. do it, and you do the country thing. Yes, sir. Wow. Matter of fact, I got off shift this morning and drove to Nashville. You drove to Nashville. How long was that drive? Um, to, today it was like eight hours because I took an hour and a half. You stopped by Bad's Pro Shop. No, I got the traffic jam in Atlanta. Oh, <laughs> uh, um, you know the whole city of Atlanta is a traffic jam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It yeah. took me like an hour and a half to get through Atlanta. So um, I ended up in Nashville at 1.30 y'all's time, 2.30 my time. Yeah. I and I that. left this morning at 7.45. I stay in my radio wow. all about time zone. Well, um, we're excited about the song you're going to play. Mm-hmm. We're going to break away. We're going to go We're going to go here, and we ain't actually let you finish up the show. Let's talk about where people can find you, find your music. You find me on Facebook. Uh, friend request me. I promise I will 99% accept you. Um, and I've got... I quit. Wait, let me interrupt you again because I like to interrupt people. <laughs> I quit accepting people that have Star Wars in their profile picture. I don't care about Star Wars. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know anything about Star Wars. That little, that little thing and the helmet and the stuff. Or why are they so excited about that? I don't know. But you know what? In, in, in Facebook, I don't have a really, really big presence on Facebook just because I don't feel like people care that I'm making a sound. Hey, David, I care. But I accept people mainly because I'm interested in what they're doing. I'm mm-hmm. interested in what's going on. I like seeing what everybody's going on. I just yeah. Uh, it, it might, it might be a nosy. Yeah. With each other. We, I know it's something nice. funny about you is you do not, you do not put happy birthday on people's Facebook. I don't. And you called me on my birthday. I did. Because you nice. said I'm going to call you because I don't put happy birthday on Facebook. So personal. Well. So you know what I did for your birthday? I put it on your Facebook. Page. <laughs> and it was you know, like a week ago. Man, I had like. Sometime in the past week was your birthday. Happy birthday. Well, thank you. We'll sing happy birthday to you. That would be fabulous. Okay. You ready? We just did we this just already did tonight. We did this for Man- Manuel, yeah. the big designer. Okay, you ready? So cool. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear David Craig. Don't stop. Happy Thank you. birthday Thank you. to you. And many more. And many yeah. more. All right, man. Go sing a song for us. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you, David. Thank you. Good to meet you. Thank you. You too. Awesome, brother. Job, buddy. Yes, sir.
Okay, now we're backstage, green room, tin roof down to Mundrian, and um, we're here for Nashville Connection, and we have Big Gap Music. Vicky is in the house. What are you doing, Scout Mountain? You know, I have to say I might be. I, I try not to give all my secrets. She walks in with hugs like she's everybody's best friend, and then she's listening the whole time. Yeah, I am. Actually, you know, TJ, I, I've planned this year to get out a little bit more and to you know see what's happening and see who's writing and see where these people are coming from i have a a network of young artists uh, all the way up to very well established artists so i'm super excited about seeing what's happening tonight i don't have any money for you this is in nashville not jersey i'm not paying it what are you guys gonna do you gonna kill me <laughs> Maybe we'll kill somebody that makes you money. Who's you got, boss? I see his face. Let's go, man! Those boys know what they're doing out there? Yeah, they got Let's go. 